archaeological evidence. Almost 2,000 years have passed since the Romans began to build towns in Britain. Since then, new generations have come and gone. Streets and buildings have been altered, eroded, knocked down, built on top of, destroyed by fire or war, or have simply crumbled. Despite this, there is still plenty of archaeological evidence that the Romans lived and thrived in Britain. Londinium, London. The Romans founded the city of Londinium in AD 47 and governed it until AD 410. They built a bridge over the River Thames and built roads to connect this port city to other Roman settlements. Today, short sections of the Roman wall remain, such as the one at Tower Hill. Archaeologists have also uncovered Roman houses like the one at Billingsgate and entire Roman streets. Roman artefacts are regularly found in the River Thames. These include pottery, coins, small statues and even a Roman ship. Isorium, Aldborough, North Yorkshire. Isorium was a Roman town connected by road to both Eboracum, York, and Lugavarium, Carlisle. Using geomagnetic scanners, archaeologists have discovered that Isorium had an amphitheatre. They have also found evidence of luxurious villas with mosaic floors. In the 16th century, the historian John Leyland wrote that where there were once Roman houses, now there were just fields. When the farmers ploughed the fields, however, they found coins, tessellated pavements and water pipes, all dating back to the Roman era. Aquae Arnimatae, Buxton. The location of this small Roman town was chosen because of its natural springs. It was one of just two known Roman bath towns in Britain. The remains of the Roman baths were first discovered in the 17th century. More recently, between 2009 and 2012, excavations revealed underground water tanks and a large iron cauldron. When archaeologists excavated the main spring in the 1970s, they found a hoard of Roman coins. People would have thrown these into the spring as an offering to the gods. Eboracum, York. Eboracum was once the capital city of Britannia, Roman Britain. It started out in AD 71 as a Roman fortress which was home to a legion of around 5,500 men. Soon, a whole city had built up around it as people flocked there to trade with the Romans. The city was surrounded by defensive walls which visitors can still walk along today. Archaeologists have excavated a bathhouse and military headquarters, both built for the occupying Roman legion. Other discoveries include Roman houses, workshops, cemeteries and storehouses. Remains of the Roman Basilica, a town hall, were also found. A column from the Basilica has been pieced back together and erected outside York Minster. Deva, Chester. Like many Roman towns, the city of Deva Victrix, Chester, grew up around a Roman fortress. It may once have been the capital of Britannia. The fortress was the largest of its time and had a huge military amphitheater, which you can still visit today. At the site of the fortress, archeologists have found evidence of barracks, grain stores, baths and headquarters. Historians have been interested in Chester's Roman remains since the 17th century. 
they have recorded many of their finds. However, in the 18th century, builders demolished many Roman remains to make space for new houses. Thankfully, more recent findings have been carefully preserved. These include the remains of an underfloor heating system for the military baths and the foundations of a large, oval-shaped building in the town centre. Lyndon, Colonia, Lincoln The city of Lyndon was built around a Roman fortress. Not long after the fortress was built, it became a place for retired soldiers to live. The city itself had two parts, each with its own wall. Archaeologists have excavated the remains of the Forum, Town Square, kilns, baths, temples, buildings and shops. There was also an aqueduct that transported water from a natural spring using ceramic pipes. Camulo Donum, Colchester. When the Romans conquered the Celts in this area in the AD 40s, they set about building their own fort on the site of the existing Celtic fort. A town was built and later rebuilt around the fort. It had a large temple, two theatres and even a chariot circus. Archaeologists have excavated several cemeteries as well as mosaics and tessellated pavements. Isca Domnonirum, Exeter. The settlement at Isca Domnonirum was built around a Roman fortress that was home to 5,000 soldiers. Almost all the buildings in the fortress were made of timber, which has since rotted away. The archaeologists have excavated a military bathhouse made of stone. It had a hot room and a warm room, along with an exercise yard. Outside the fortress, archaeologists have also found evidence of a smaller public bathhouse. Verulamium, near St Albans. The Roman town of Verulamium was built on the site of one of the oldest settlements in Britain. The town had a forum, town square with a marketplace, basilica, town hall and a theatre. These were originally built out of wood, but after being burnt down at least twice by Celtic warriors, they were rebuilt out of stone. Parts of the city walls remain, as well as a mosaic floor with underfloor heating and theatre. Most of the Roman remains lie beneath fields and haven't yet been excavated. Aquesulis, Bath. The town of Aquesulis was built at the site of a hot spring. There, the Romans built a large public bathhouse connected to a temple. Citizens of the town wrote curses onto lead tablets and threw them into the spring. So far, about 130 of these have been found. Visitors to the Roman bathhouse can still see the original bath, as well as the remains of the temple courtyard. In 2012, archaeologists excavating a site close to the Roman baths discovered a hoard of 30,000 silver coins. These are on display to the public, along with a collection of stone sculptures. Isca Augusta, Newport, South Wales. Most Roman fortresses were only occupied for a few years before the legion moved on to build another fortress and to conquer new territory. Isca was one of just three permanent fortresses. It is a treasure trove for archaeologists because most of the Roman remains lie beneath fields and have been undisturbed for centuries. One of the most impressive finds was an amphitheatre with foundations dating back to AD 80. Archaeologists have also found the remains of a Roman harbour, baths, barracks and a fortress wall.